Hey guys, I'm on my way now to Sutherland uh, to the Year 13, um, I was going to say graduate reunion, but it's not that. It's the start of um, the, the year for the new Year 13 intake. And if you don't know what Year 13 is, it's a Gathi program run by YouthWorks here in Sydney. And it's um, for Christian high school leavers where you do a year of kind of a bit of Bible study um, and life skills, so defensive driver training, uh, financial planning, management stuff, um, and kind of discipleship and getting to know people better and knowing your God, knowing yourself and knowing your world. So as part of the knowing your world bit, uh, we actually go on a mission trip for a whole month in Fiji. So what we did was we went to Nandi and then we went down south and up north for the whole loop in a month and we um, did some leadership training kind of courses and churches uh, we preach and run like, kids like Sunday school kids church things in churches and in villages uh, we'll go to schools teach just lessons like other bubble lessons or like you know English and maths I think and you know whatever else to take on the classes for a period play soccer with them uh, we went through all homes of hope, that's what we did. So it's like a women's refuge with, who have children right? uh, who don't have a husband or family or anything. So it's like a refuge for women. Best can be abandoned, they can go to the place in Fiji. Uh, they can work, they can um, learn these different skills and sell off stuff. So they make like little uh, jewelry out of paper and stuff like that. And so they get taught skills, and they, they sell it, and that's how they kind of help. I uh, get the income, I think. Uh, so it's really cool. So that's Year 13 in a nutshell. If you're a keen Christian who's just leaving Year 12, um, look into it. Um, or even if you're not leaving Year 12 for another, I know it's the start of the year, another year or two or three or whatever, um, it's really good to see gap year. It's a structured gap year. You meet awesome people, um, awesome friends, you make, actually make friends for life. They've actually been here to people. I've done you study and they've got married to people that they've met during year 13. But that's not the reason you go, but it's a little added bonus. Um, I'm actually going out with the girl that I did year 13 with. Um, well, I knew her before that. I knew her at school as well. So yeah, I'm on the way there now to help welcome in this first stream, first year of students. Uh, so a bunch of us are the graduates from previous years. We're gonna come down for their fireside come to hang out. We're going to share our life and give 13 advice, all that kind of stuff. It should be really fun. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to go tonight. I'm probably going to go tomorrow as well. Um, so I'll post some links if I can find some. No, I will find some. I will find some links. I'll post them in, in the description to the Year 13 site. You can check out his work videos. You can read the prospect, just an application for Whatever else you want to do, guys. And also ask me, send me a message if you want to um, ask me any questions or find any more information about uh, Anglican Youth Works Year 13 Gap Year Program. Uh, so if you want to Google it, the search here, yeah, Year 13 Youth Works, and it probably should be the first result I'd imagine. Um, yeah, so there's different ways you can do it. You can either drive there, um, it's kind of the face to face hours a couple times a week. So you can drive there if you're local, or you can do intensive blocks. I think it's like four times a year, where like you drive up and like you feel a long way away, or you fly in and you get picked up at the airport, and you leave intensive blocks for a month. Um, and yeah, same stuff, but it's a different experience because you're not with the main group, but then everyone goes to do the mission trip in Fiji together, which is really cool. So I definitely recommend it, guys. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, guys. I did year 13 in 2011, so I'm, on, I'm an old boy now, woo, man, um, yeah man, life's an adventure guys, so make the most of it, do what is best for you, do what is best for those around you, um, pursue your dreams and your goals, and do that in whatever way you can, um, and don't be afraid to take some time off, you know, Uni can wait, you can defer for a year. I've never been to uni my whole life. And I seem to be doing right for myself. Um, apparently like Oxford and stuff, like those studies show that people, students who've had a gap year are better off for it. Um, but they perform better at uni. 
and don't go from study to study, go from study to a year off with a little bit of study at year 13, um, and then back into full-time study. Even just take a year off from work, you know, get some money behind you. I worked full-time for a year, two years ago, or three years ago, one of the two. Um, and I saved up a bunch of cash. I've just now almost run out of it. It's lasted me two years in Tassie on a part-time job. Um, so guys, take a step for your future. Get some work experience, some life experience. Get some coin in your bank account. Not that life's about money, of course it's not, but you need money to survive. So I encourage you, take a year off, do a gap year. Hey, do two or three or five gap years. I don't care. Do whatever the heck you want to do. No, no, just get yourself sorted for the future. Even if you doesn't seem like you are. What is this idiot doing? All right. You're a nong, mate. All right. You could have just walked up here. Mate, you almost killed yourself. Anyway, um, don't do that guy did. Sort yourself out to you 13. If you want. I strongly encourage it anyway. <laughs> anyway, see you guys.